Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all good. I'm guessing you can tell the excitement in my voice. I got the most incredible package through from Moles and Shapes. I honestly was not expecting this. I was expecting some coaster molds and look what they sent me. I have never tried a Druzy before. I've never tried a Druzy. I know I'm the last person on the planet to ever try them, but, but, but. Look at these. Look at these absolutely stunning star druzies. They sent me four. Oh, they're so soft and delicate. I love them. So thank you so much to Molds and Shapes. Honestly, they've sent me four, four stars, which means I can do four coasters all at once. Like that is exciting. Okay, okay, they're cute. They're cute. And then they sent me an insert. I've also never tried an insert. I feel like I am literally the last resin artist on YouTube to try any of these things. But look at this. So this is an insert. So you would have a tray mould like this, which I'll talk about in a second. And you put your insert down inside the mould, press it firmly. And then when you demould, that pattern is in the resin. So yeah, they sent me the insert. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. This is a tray mould. And the depth, look at the depth on this. It's so deep and chunky and lovely and yummy. And also, <laughs> honestly, it felt like Christmas when I opened this box. They sent me another Druzy mould in the shape of a flower. So I already know what I want to try doing with this. These, oh my goodness me. This is what I'm using in today's video. And look at them. They are stunning. This is another, like you would have seen in the previous video, this is a, a whole mould of four coasters. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. And this is the one. Absolutely stunning. Now I think these are the geode. That's what they're called on their website, the geode, ge geola, the geode coasters. And they are just chunky and, oh, so that is what we're going to do in today's video and I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Druzy moulds for the first time. Okay, breathe. I'm so excited guys. Right, okay, enough talking from me. I'm going to mix my resin. I am using Vista Cascade and I am almost out of resin. So literally in the next two weeks there will be no more resin videos from me <laughs> until it's in stock. It is out of stock, literally across the UK and Europe, the ones I use. So... I don't know what's going to happen. We'll end up doing some wood turning videos and more jasmineite. But yes, I am rapidly running out. But in today's video, Vista Cascade is what I'm using. I'm also going for the colours. Well, it has to be blue, doesn't it? Because blue is my ultimate favourite colour. I have just bought some brand new pigments. Just arrived this morning from Resin 8. So I'm going to try Dark Indigo or Inky Depths. I'm going to have a look at both of them, see which one I like. Then I'm going for clear. So when you use a Druzy mould, you really want clear on top so that you get that effect of the crystally background. So for the clear, I am going to be using some alcohol inks and I've also got some transparent pigment from Resin 8 and some liquid dyes. So um, yeah, enough talking. I'm going to mix my resin. I've got my gloves on. I'm going to get my respirator on. If you are using epoxy resin, please be safe. I will then put my eye goggles on, open the window that's just here. Let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay out these druzies into these coasters. I'm just giving them a bit of a firm press to make sure that they come in full contact with the mould underneath. They're both silicon so they've got this natural attraction to each other anyway and hopefully they don't slip and slide all over the place. I am putting them directly in the centre. <laughs> as, as adventurous as some people might be and put them off to the sides and you know off, off centred. My brain wouldn't let me so I had to put them directly in the centre. And now I'm just dividing up this resin that I've made into the various cups. I don't really know at this point um, how many blues I'm going to use, but I know I'm using at least three. So I decided to go with the darkest indigo from Resin A. You really don't need much at all. This colour, oh, it's like denim. It actually reminded me of dark denim. Loved it. So I'm making sure that that is thoroughly mixed. I mixed a lot more than this, but obviously I'm not going to show you that process because that's just going to take forever. Um, I'm then using Beja Blue or Baja Blue by Pinata, and I'm also using Aqua Marine by Ranger Inks. I've only got one other alcohol ink, one single bottle, and that's Aqua Marine by Ranger. 
And hand on heart, I can't tell the difference between the two. I thought one might be slightly different, but you guys can tell me. It might be my eyes or it might be my age. I, as soon as I mixed it, I've put them side by side here for you to see. I couldn't tell the difference. I actually couldn't. And when it came to pouring, I then didn't know which one was which. So I can't talk you through that. <laughs> what I can say is that I put the dark pigment around the outside, followed by the two lighter blues, which looked identical to my eyes. Um, it was just too late at this stage to go and try and find another transparent alcohol ink or, an, or a dye. Um, but yeah, I loved it. At this stage, I thought, wow, it looks like... It just looks like the Bahamas. It looks like the Mediterranean Sea or Cornwall on a good day. Um, yeah, absolutely love the colour choices here. So I'm just going around the edges, like I said, with the dark and then filling the rest in with the clear, lighter colours. I'm not filling these moulds to the top because I've got quite a lot of leftover clear and I'm going to end these using the clear. The other thing I forgot to mention at the beginning, I showed it to you but I didn't talk about it, was this holder. Now... Um, Moulds and Shapes sent me this holder and it matches the coasters. So this is the geode coaster holder as well. Um, most of their sets, I do believe, come with a holder of some kind and it's super chunky as well and it's just identical to the coasters. So I've just put that on the side here for, to show you. Um, I'm just going back and forth using exactly the same colours in both. And yeah, I don't know, can you see a difference between those two blues? Because I definitely cannot. I cannot. <laughs> no biggie. I think I wanted a little bit of turquoise in there, you know, a little bit of green. But yeah, at this stage, I realised oh, some of the corners were lifting up. So I just went in with a stick and pushed them back down. I'm very aware at this stage I will be getting resin underneath those. But I know what to do because I've seen so many people do it. So I'm quite, ha I'm quite happy it's still going to work out okay. Um, and now I'm just filling the coasters right to the very top. I am not top coating these coasters. This is it. So I am making sure that they are filled right to the very, very top. I'm going to work out how much resin I use because I didn't actually measure. I just played it by eye and had uh, literally about three drops left. So I got it pretty spot on. So I'll put that number on the screen for you now. I just have to run upstairs and... <laughs> run upstairs and check my notes but yeah a quick blast of the heat tool to get rid of any floating bubbles putting the rest of that resin in and Bob's your uncle done I really loved and enjoyed this one I'm just giving this a bit of a swirl I don't know why because I don't know what I'm doing I'm just swirling for the sake of swirling I had a stick so I swirled <laughs> and here they are I absolutely love them they just give me ocean vibes and I cannot wait to get back into my oceans as well but yeah so I uh, voiceover Claire is going to leave you now and we're going to come back for the D mold I'm so excited for this I am back 24 hours later I was not expecting these results <laughs> okay when I poured the resin you would have seen they just looked like oh, the Caribbean Sea they just looked so stunningly blended and then I covered them up, left the room, came back today and it's like they all fell out with each other. Like they were getting on really, really well and blending. Now I'm looking like they've all had a fight, like they've all separated and yeah, but uh, amazing. You see what I mean? I think because around the edge was opaque and the rest were clear transparent they didn't like each other they had a bit of an argument and decided they're not going to mix but i'm not altogether disappointed with that it's created this cloudy pattern around the edge now to get this off the back so I have seen other people do this and I knew this one had resin seep under because I could I could see it had risen up. You would have seen me push it down, giant air bubbles coming. So I need to get my um, scalpel out to get rid of that one. And this one here has almost got the most beautiful inky blooms. These are so thick. These are so thick. Look at this. I love it I absolutely love it this one as well went over so I do need to get out my my blade which I will do now unless I can oh oh hello 
Who knew it was that easy? Love it. Okay. Okay, I've seen everyone use um, like sticks. You can use a little toothpick to peel this out. This is my first. This is my first. <gasps> oh my. This is my first ever Druzy peel. And look at that. Stop it. What? way more beautiful in real life than I have seen on oh my my heart is actually racing that is stunning look at that wow wow okay okay I'm gonna get my knife and I'm gonna get ready and do them all going to leave this laying flat for a couple more days there is a little bit a little bit of flexibility in this at this stage this has only been 24 hours now it is a 24 hour cure time on this resin but this is deep so I'm going to leave this flat for a couple more days before I glue the feet on the plan is I will put some UV resin along here stick the foot down and more UV resin along here stick the foot down and then I will use my UV light to cure those in place and that is how I plan on securing the feet but I won't show you that in this video I'm just letting you know that that is the plan otherwise it's going to take another couple of days before I get to do that but overall amazing mold and amazing druzies thank you so so much to molds and shapes seriously <laughs> stunning results i think you have to see it with your own eyes you know i've seen it online but just in person it kind of takes my breath away a bit right okay i hope you love this one thank you so much again to molds and shapes honestly i appreciate everything and this has been amazing and this coaster mold is now my all-time favorite coaster mold because they're huge they're actually a really good chunky size and they're so deep which I love. So I cannot wait to use these again. If you guys are interested at all, I do have a discount code for you and that is 5% off at the checkout at Molds and Shapes using my code CCC5. I will put everything on the screen for you and I'll also link it all down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and do all of that jazz. Everything I've used in this video, as far as I can, I will link it down below in my Amazon storefront. And don't forget also to check out my link tree that has a link to my merch. If you have not seen the video where I told you all about my merch, I do now have some mugs and also some t-shirts, some crafty t-shirts and some crafty mugs, um, which is available through that link. Now, I do not profit at all from my merch any profit I make from the sale is going to mind the mental health charity here in the UK um, to support 
children, adults, teenagers, you name it, with their mental health difficulties. So I do not profit from my merch, but the link will be down below if you do fancy getting yourself a mug. They do ship internationally. It's not me making them. It is an independent printer not far from where I live. So do check that out. I think I haven't missed anything out, but thanks again to Moulds and Shapes, and thank you all to all of you for supporting me and watching. And yeah... I cannot wait to try these again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.